Wealth development has become a spectator sport. Lately, I have been getting a lot of comments that I should go look at so-and-so or you should check out so-and-so. And then when I ask these people, are they doing it? They're like, no, I'm not doing it. Here's the thing, guys, I want you to listen to me on this point. I am not impressed by a Lambo. I am not impressed by a big house. I am not impressed by a flashy wardrobe. Because I drive a for I drive a Porsche. I live in the big house. That that doesn't impress me. But it impresses you guys. And one of the things that I'm finding to be really interesting is that a lot of you guys are not participating in um, the game. You're not participating in the game of wealth development. You're not participating. You're not taking action. You're not participating. And it's funny because like with the Moist Man crew, you guys are the worst. You're the absolute worst because I'm going to start doing some con content on the Lost Kings that's going to be exactly for you because I figured some stuff out and I've connected some dots because from my standpoint, the things that you do don't make sense. They don't make sense. They, they just don't. But from a moist, unaccomplished, un, unaccomplished, never done anything in life, has no results in life, ain't building anything in life, your reactionary, moist men who are lost. I mean, you guys are really, really lost because this is the thing that's so funny. People want to argue with me about a business that they're not participating in, that they don't know anything about this business. And they want, I want you to, going back to some of my original points, I'm not impressed by a fancy car, I'm not impressed by a big house, so I'm able to evaluate the situation a little differently because like I said I'm getting ready to hire some private detectives to investigate some of these people because number one and this this is just common courtesy who are these people's real names they will not tell you their real name and for some reason that has not set off alarms it's like who is this person? What is his real name? They will not tell you their real names. I've had people put in the comments like, hey, bro, what's your real name? No response. There is a reason they're not telling you their real name. And the reason is not good. The reason is probably going to be something jacked up. I'm, 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 I'm 100% sure of it. So what is wealth development? What is wealth behavior? Now, one of the things that has gotten misconstrued is many people feel that investing is wealth building behavior. And when the, under the right applications, under the right tactics, it can be wealth building behavior. But investing for the average person is a losing game. Why is it a losing game? Because the average person doesn't have enough money to really invest. 
to build a million dollar portfolio in about 20 to 30 years, you're gonna to need to be investing $30,000 per year, which is what the average person makes in total. And so like I said, the average person doesn't have enough money to become an investor of significance. So yes, you can be buying money in index funds and stuff. And one of the things that I'm consistently seeing, because I listened to the Dave Ramsey show, that these folks had high incomes. I don't know how many times I'm listening to Dave and someone's like, yeah, we do about 170, we do 225, we do 330. I see that consistently. Very rarely will someone call up Dave and is like, I make 30,000. And if they do call up Dave and say, I make 30,000 and they're in $80,000 in debt, Dave tells them they're looking at a five to seven year journey to climb out of all that debt because their income is so low. So what I'm consistently seeing, and this is something that you guys are missing because you're are dazzled by the bullshit, is you need a significant amount of money to create significant investments. This is a truism. And what many people are looking for, and this is why options trading is so popular, because with options trader, you can buy some contracts and you can leverage a small sum of money into a bigger payout, if you know what you're doing. I did some research. The average options trader loses more money than they make. This is a statistical fact. You don't have to believe me, Google it. And one of the things that I am pushing back on and I got a video that's coming out on Savage Finance called The Myth of Investing. It's gonna be a good one. Because I am seeing false narratives all over the place. False narratives all over the place that you can invest a little bit of money and become a millionaire in 10 years. You know, I, I know y'all hate it when I talk about our rich journey. They didn't retire in 10 years. They retired in 18, 20 years because they're 38 and 40. So that right there is a big point because let's talk about messaging. Messaging on the internet is everything. I've, if you notice, I've kind of switched up my messaging a little bit for the corporate papers and it's been working like gangbusters. Um, one of the things is when you hear, I started my retirement journey 10 years ago and I was able to retire, that sounds very appealing. That sounds great. Like with Bandman Kevo. Bandman Kevo actually said this, and it's fundamentally false, that you could take $10,000 and buy, you know, if you had $100,000, you would be stupid to buy one house. You could take 10,000 and put it down on 10 houses and Here's the thing, when you become a real estate investor, you cannot get those super low interest rate loans if, you're, if you tell the bank that you're an investor and you're not living in a house. You cannot, you're gonna get what's called an investor loan and it's a higher interest rate and it's gonna require a higher down payment. Don't believe me, Google it, statistical fact. So Batman Kello, is intentionally putting out false narratives because I figured some stuff out. You know what all of these guys are putting out these false narratives? What did I tell you at the beginning of the video? That I have people who are urging me passionately, check out so-and-so, check out so-and-so, and they're not participating in the game. They know that the majority of you will never take action this is why they say what they say because they know they can get away with it because they know the majority of you will never take action they know this they know this and that's one of the reasons because a lot of you because i've had <clears throat> no less than five people you should go check out such and such you could show check out such and such because such and such puts out a good show, right? 
He puts out a really good show. He's very entertaining. He says a lot of slick stuff. But I am a seasoned entrepreneur. So when I evaluate another person is who's masquerading as an entrepreneur, and I'll explain that in a minute, I look at their messaging and content. And on this individual, there's virtually nothing about how to run a car rental business. It's all about building credit. You know, I'm not going to spend the money on the course because, honestly, I feel that I can get to where it took them five, six, seven years. I can get there in eight months. You want to know why? I have experience selling things to people. It's invaluable. And one of the things, like with Turo, Turo has slowed down tremendously. Turo is doing this campaign and we're going to do pay you $2,000 for every card you add on. So this is going to flood the marketplace with a lot of cars. And my, <clears throat> and my Turo listings literally have stopped. My Turo listings have stopped. My higher car listings are still trucking the right along. Different market, different segment. And uh, honestly, if Toro doesn't get any better, I am probably going to um, pull my cars off Toro. Um, the ones I may sell, the ones I bought for Toro, and then take that money and buy more cars for higher car. And then start my own car rental agency because Toro has slowed down. And let's talk about Toro. Like, Boysmith, well, if Toro finds out that you have your cars on another site, they're going to delete you. So, I'm not playing the game for Toro. I'm playing the game for Glendon. I'm not trying, like, yo, you know, Toro has these rules. You can't, you know, I'm like, really? I'm hearing a lot of information put out by non entrepreneurs. If you remember this movie with Rodney Dangerfield where he went to college and he was telling the professors how to run a business because he was a real entrepreneur, they didn't want to hear it. And I am hearing a lot of stuff that as a seasoned entrepreneur with 23 years of experience, I know his fundamentally false. I know this stuff ain't going to work. And one of the things that I consistently see is a lot of fanboy antics. Now, what do I mean by that? Fanboy antics. There's your favorite Instagram poster. There's your favorite YouTuber. There's maybe your favorite podcaster. And you like this person. You like their content. And you become a fanboy. And then whenever someone says, hey, podcaster, YouTuber, Instagrammer, you're putting out some misinformation. Then the attacks start. Then people start coming out of the pocket. Then people, because see, they feel that you're attacking them, not their YouTube or podcast idol. They feel that you're attacking them and they get angry and they start to lash out and they start to say things and they start to do stuff. So with the fanboy antics, it is evident of non-participation in the game because you're too busy being a fanboy you're too busy you know just sitting on the sidelines watching the game so when your youtuber or podcaster or instagram person scores a touchdown you're like yeah 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 and you high-fiving other fanboys in the sand in the stands I'm beginning to see that this because um, one of the things I saw with the corporate papers and one of the reasons that I got rid of the $150 price point is the $150 price point was bringing me a lot of fanboys, bringing me folks who were not invested, who were not interested in building a the business. They were just curious and they would sign up for a month or two then stop paying. And uh, I haven't had that issue since I moved it up to 200 I haven't had that issue because that 200, you got, you're like $200 a month. I got to think about this. This is something I really want to do. 
I need to think about this. So I'm getting a more serious customer because I don't want the spectators. I don't want the fanboys. I don't want the moist, wet men who are more interested in watching wealth development than participating in wealth development. And I, I'm just like, I'm, a, I'm amazed at the number of people who are happy to stand on the sidelines who are thrilled to be a spectator versus becoming a participant. I am a participant in wealth building. I don't invest in stocks. I don't invest in real estate. I invest in starting companies. That's my investment strategy. And it's working out beautifully. It's working out. Uh, I actually anticipate a hundred and fifty or two hundred thousand dollar day. I see that coming up because one of the things I'm doing since I am a participant, I am looking at what works and what doesn't. Direct response marketing, right? So I am starting to tap in to what really, really works because I've had my best day has been the fifty thousand dollars day, fifty thousand dollars in one day, right? So I anticipate in the future, like. This is what's gonna happen. As I get better with my messaging, and I'm gonna raise the price of the corporate papers. September 1st, the price of the corporate papers goes up. And my messaging is gonna get better. And this is what's so funny about this. I am going to sell more issues, uh, editions of the corporate papers at a higher price point. Let me say that again. I am going to sell more versions of the corporate papers at a higher price point than I did when I started off. Why is that? Because as the corporate papers gets built out, it becomes more valuable. And as my messaging gets better, I start to find, like, at one point, the corporate papers is going to be $5,000. And all of the moist men in the audience are like, man, you know, you can read... Michael Gerber's e-myth and get more value out of it. And that is fundamentally false. Does Michael Gerber teach you how to set up a holding company? Nope. Does Michael Gerber teach you, teach you how to set up an operating company? Nope. Does Michael, Michael Gerber teach you how to do marketplace analysis so you can know what your customers are thinking? Nope. None of that stuff's in the e -book. He talks about broad concepts and big ideals. That's what he talks about. And you can read the E-Myth book and you can become knowledgeable about those broad concepts and big ideals. But Michael Gerber doesn't teach you how to run a business, how to start a business. See, the corporate papers is going to be for anyone who wants to start a business, whether you are a seasoned entrepreneur or you are a brand new person to the space. And one of the things I wanna say, there are many successful business owners whose businesses are not set up correctly. You're making money, <clears throat> you're paying more in taxes than you have to because your business isn't structured properly, it isn't set up properly. I look at the number of people on the YouTube, uh, Instagram space, who have multiple businesses and they don't have a holding company. Hustling backwards, hustling backwards. But they don't know that they should have a holding company. They have no idea that they should have a holding company. All they see is they got this company making money and they're paying a shit ton in taxes. If they're paying their taxes, that is. If they're paying their taxes. But once again, we got too many people who are spectators and not enough people who are participants. Because I want you to be a participant. I want you to be a technician. I want you to take action. And it is cracking me up the number of men who's like, you should go over and check out. I'm like, 
checking out such and such is not going to put a damn dime in my pocket. But you know what will put money in my pocket? Me going out to the marketplace and putting out offers and seeing what they do and like that offer worked. Well, this offer doesn't work. I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm testing a pricing strategy. And um, I got this car for less than the price of a 2012 or 13 Camry, which incidentally, I can only rent out for about 35, 40, 45 days. It's kind of 45 bucks a day. It's kind of pushing it for a Camry. It's kind of pushing it. And this car costs less than the Camry. And uh, I'm getting repeated requests at 70 bucks a day. Once again, I'm running a lot of experiments. And uh, like today, I'm thinking about buying another car. And I'm like, should I buy the Lexus or should I buy the BMW? And more than likely, I'm going to be going to get that BMW because I know that I can rent that BMW out. I know what I can rent that BMW out for. I don't know what I can rent that Lexus out for. And that Lexus may come later in the month because I have a feeling it's going to be there because the car market has slowed down because the stimulus money is starting to run out. So I'm probably going to pick up the BMW because uh, I know what I can get for it pretty quickly. I already have that data. I know what I get this BMW, I put it in the market, I'm going to get this. And the numbers work out really, really well. Really, really well. But once again, that's how you make money. Go into the marketplace, putting out offers and testing and seeing what works. Not watching someone who, in my opinion, is faking the funk. I don't really think this dude is a real businessman. I think he's a template entrepreneur. Now, what's a template entrepreneur? A template entrepreneur is someone that gets on a platform and pimps out the platform because they don't know how to market. They don't know how to hire. They don't know how to do X, Y, and Z. They, they just don't know the real elements of running a business. They have no clue to how that goes. So these template entrepreneurs look good on paper, but if you had to drop them into a city and gave them $50,000 and said, start a business from scratch, 99% of them couldn't do it. They couldn't do it because they don't have those skill sets. They have template marketplace skill sets. They know how to get in a, a marketplace and to get on a template, but they don't know how to build a real business. And that's what they're teaching you, template marketing, business building skills. They're not teaching you how to, how to build a real business. Not teaching you that at all. So one of the things that I wanna do is create 50,000 corporate citizens. What I wanna do is create a wave, a movement of people who are building a collection of businesses that make a minimum $250,000 a year profit after all expenses and stuff and becoming that corporate citizens. And why $250,000? $250,000 changed my life. I wasn't a millionaire, but I felt like a millionaire. I was able to, well, I already had the car that I wanted because I had a really high paying job, but it opened up so many doors, it opened up so many possibilities for me. And one of the things you guys have got to understand, you gotta stop being a spectator and you gotta get in the game. And I know a lot of people like, you know, like, like watching your favorite YouTuber or watching your favorite Instagram or watching your favorite podcast. And like with the Lost Kings, I'm getting ready to rip some people because I think they're fundamental frauds. I'm gonna say something. I've become very good at marketing, really, really good at marketing. And with the Craigslist protocols, I was able to tap into a woman's submission story and get a beautiful woman without paying her, without taking her out, without even really getting to know her to come to my place and fuck me and fuck me like a good little whore. I want you to think about that. I was able to put words on paper that created those type of results over and over and over and over and over and over again. 
Yet you got someone up here talking about being a high value man, taking a rented Lambo to do a gold digger plank prank. It, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. So I'm getting ready to go take the Lost Kings to a whole nother level because I got a concept video that I'm working on and it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one because we're about to start getting into because just like I got into the psychology of the women, I need to get into the psychology of men. So what I want you to do, if you want to be a corporate citizen, is go below, sign up before September 1st because it will be more expensive and you you got four weeks of work to do right now if you sign up today you've got four weeks of work to do and also don't email me like i am too busy i'm just going to ignore your email i have an assistant it's her job to answer emails and to fix problems emailing me you're hustling backwards i'm just saying that i'm just saying that i know a lot of y'all are used to me doing everything and this is one of the things that i'm going to teach you i have an assistant for a reason because, you know, if I was just going to answer all these fields and fix all this other stuff, I would literally be working seven days a week. I would not be able to scale my business because I would be the bottleneck in my business. So I respectfully ask you to email my assistant. And my assistant, you know, she has some health issues. She was out. Just wait. Don't stop leaving comments in the videos talking about, hey, man, I'm just going to delete them and ignore you. Because you guys have got to understand for you to build your business, you've got to build systems and processes. And if you're not participating in my system and processes the correct way, you're a problem. And if you're a problem, I'm gonna get rid of you and refund your money. That's what I'm gonna do. So one of the things I want you guys to do is to understand the truth about building a business and let go of all of these facades, these hopes, dreams, and wishes that you're gonna get rich doing little or nothing. It's not gonna happen. It's just simply not gonna happen. So go below, get in the corporate papers, and I will see you guys in the next one.